Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give an example to find the probability of sample mean from the given data of the population. Okay, see the statement of the problem. The mean height, the mean, mean means average, the average height of students in your college is 157, 155 centimeters and uh, standard deviation is 15 centimeters. So there is a college. We don't know total number of students in that college. That's why we'll take this is a normal population, otherwise infinite population. So we can treat this college as a population. Okay. So the average height of each student in this college is given as 155 centimeters. Okay, on average, each student height is 155 centimeters. And uh, standard deviation in this height is, which is represented by sigma, is 15 centimeters. Okay, now what is the probability? What is the probability that the mean height of 36 students? Here, we take a sample from this college with the 36 students. So n is equal to, you know that already sample size is nothing but small n. 36 students is less than 157 centimeters. So x bar is less than 157. Since population mean is 155, the sample mean is surely surrounding of 155. So particularly he asked that what is the chance, nothing but what is the probability that this mean x bar should lie 157 centimeters. Okay, so that is we have to find out probability of x bar is less than 157. So don't forget the notations. Population mean is represented by mu, sample mean is represented by x bar, population standard deviation is sigma. Okay, of course. In the case of large sample, what is the mean by large sample? If sample size n is greater than or equal to 30, then given sample is called large sample. Already know it. Suppose sample size small n is less than 30, then given sample is called small sample. In the case of large sample, there is no difference between population standard deviation and sample standard deviation. Both are same. But in the case of small sample, population standard deviation is different to the sample standard deviation. Okay? Don't forget it. Solution. Once please write the given data with notations. Given that, first write the sample size. Sample size is equal to n is equal to 36. Immediately you can find out root n. It would be root 36. Root 36 is nothing but 6 already know it now what is the population mean population mean here mean represents the heights of the students is equal to 155 centimeters and a population standard deviation of height you can say this is mu and here sigma is equal to 15 centimeters we have to find out we have to find probability of sample mean x bar will be less than 157 students or 157 centimeters. If you take 36 students, what is the we have to find out what is the probability that the mean height of these 36 students is less than 157 centimeters. Okay, so according to the central limit theorem. According to the central limit theorem, the standard normal variate, the standard normal variate of z, no, of x bar, sorry, is represented by z which is defined as x bar minus mu by sigma by root n. Okay. Now we have to reduce this probability in terms of area. So for that purpose, at, at this end point of x bar, 
find out the value of z what is x bar 157 minus population mean is given as 155 centimeters by standard deviation is nothing but 15 in this problem by root n is nothing but 6 okay so 157 minus 155 is nothing but 2 okay 15 by 6 this 6 becomes to numerator so 2 6 are 12 12 by 15 so i got 0 0.8 so second there is no second decimal place in such case you can write 0 so required probability becomes probability of x bar is greater than 157 becomes area of x bar becomes z okay because we are finding z value at this x bar value and 157 becomes 0 0.80 okay so here in the concept of normal population we can use the normal distribution tables to get the probabilities okay without using normal distribution we can't get the probabilities here so i will draw the normal curve so this is z is equal to 0 you know that 0 0.8 is lies right side of z is equal to 0 in general this point is 0 0.8 since it has greater than symbol we, can, we have to shade the right side area we need this find we need this area okay how can we find out this area we know that either left side area otherwise right side area under the normal curve is 0 0.5 because total area is 1 total area is nothing but probability in the concept of normal distribution probability is nothing but area under the normal curve that's why you are going to find out the area instead of probability okay so the entire right side area is nothing but 0 0.5 from this entire right side area we can subtract this small area what is this small area 0 to 0 0.8 area so for this use the statistical tables okay look at row wise move to 0 0.8 0 0.1 0 0.2 0.3 and so on this is 0 0.8 so since second decimal place is 0 just see this one just this one which is 0 0.2881 okay so again by your calculator 0.5 minus 0 0.2881 so i got 0 0.2119 this is the required probability that sample mean of mean height of these 36 students is more than 157 centimeters is 0 0.2119 okay in this way we can easily find out the probability of sample mean according to the given population data in the next video i will give some more examples on this model thank you